filming on my laptop. It's old school time. That's what this is. Um, I was originally filming, and I thought I was filming for a whole five minutes, and I wasn't. And then my computer screen went black because the screensaver came on. So we're going to try this again. Righty ho. Okay, here we go. We're going to. I'm working on my bullet journals. I'm supposed to be yapping while I do this. It's not working. Uh, I'm working on next year's. This is April. Right? Little tiny calendar, little note section, important dates, important tasks are going to go there. This is going to be like a, a decorative, like, it's April thing. Right? This is going to be all my goals and, like, other important, like, things I want to accomplish in the month. Like, whatever step I'm on, because I've decided that breaking my goals down into achievable steps every month is actually very beneficial, not just for me, for me accomplishing my goals, but for my mental and physical health, because they are linked together. And I drew this entire thing while talking to you originally, and I, yeah, um, the thing is, though, right, this little section here will get decorated, right? I don't add a whole lot of decoration in my bullet journals, but go back a page. These pages are blank for a reason in between each month now. They are blank so that I can do, like, junk journal stuff for each month, right? I can, like, collect things over the course of the month, find stickers that I really like for that month, some washi tapes, like a quote or something, or... Like, I could, like, write a little tiny journal entry in, like, one of my other notebooks and, like, tear it out and make it look cute and fancy and put it in here, and right? Um, I don't do a whole lot of journaling like that. I type a lot of my journal stuff, so I don't know if I would, like, type something up really cute and fancy and poetic because I'm actually really good at the poetic writing thing. I really am. Um, it's just... Like, it's, it's, I can get, like, maybe, maybe four or five lines to sound really poetic, and then everything else around it is, like, shit. So, you know, and I have mascara and eyeliner that's all sorts of smudged, so my eyes look like raccoons. It's are cute, though, so that's okay. I just shook the entire table. I'm waiting for a, uh... Call oh, from my best friend, and it's he's taking a sweet fucking time, man. Love him to death, but I called and I've texted him a bunch, and it's like not an emergency. It's not. I'm not even gonna try to claim it is because it's just I'm depresso expresso, and uh, I know he's busy. I know what he's doing. He's at work, and I'm not gonna like spam call him while he's at work but i am a little bit on the spam tech side which is why um which is part of the reason why i am filming so that i can have sorry i'm trying to get this lined up just right so that i can have uh some else to concentrate on um i just got some bad news about something and i want my best friend and i feel like that is good also six inch rulers perfect for bullet journals by the way because i see a lot of people are like oh i want straight lines but like rulers don't fit in the books unless you're using it across the page honestly get a six inch one right and here's the thing people are like oh you can't really find six inch rulers unless you go to like a craft store it's a ruler i got it in a six set a pack of six like three years ago walmart for a dollar don't even try to put but yeah it's halloween themed it's black it has the little measuring lights don't even try to play with me though you can definitely go find a six inch ruler for like, this one came in a kit, and it's really nice and sturdy, and I really, actually, really, 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 really like it. But don't try to play with me. You don't have to go spend five, six dollars on a six-inch ruler. Don't play with me. <laughs> like, you're just making excuses to not go bullet journal. That's what that is. If you don't want a bullet journal, you don't want a bullet journal. That's, that's totally different. I also really like this one a little bit more because it has the rounded edges. 
This one, though, has, like, the little, like, detailing bumps. So if I'm, like, make a real big mess up, I can use these and say, oh, I messed up because I wasn't paying attention, which usually is the truth. Right, and then I draw eight boxes. Uh, one of the boxes at the end, usually the corner with the page number, becomes... becomes a uh, decorative box, not a note box, because um, I don't need note boxes on my weeklies. I just don't, um, for anybody who's curious why I don't, I just, I don't use them. Like, I'm almost at page 50. That's exciting. I'm four months in, and each month takes, like, eight pages, eight to nine pages, depending on, like, what I'm doing. How do you count pages? Do you count, like, page or a page? Because I know a half spread is is this, and I know a full spread is this, right? That's why my intro to the month is a full spread, because it's for the month. And then these are half spreads because it's a week for a page. Right, and I'm just, I'm tempted to just not even, so I haven't been filling in. What I do is I like draw out everything and here's the thing, I don't give a fuck if I mess up, hence why I'm doing this in pen and not pencil. Right. It's a thing. Come on. Let me just kind of... There we go. Right, and... I'm pretty sure I wouldn't mess up as much, or... I would probably mess up just as much, but it would probably wouldn't look as weird if I just freaking used a pencil first. But here's the thing, I don't have the time, the energy, I realize that with like three bullet journals to go, I hate the drawing out in pen and then the drawing out in, uh, drawing out in freaking marker, well, black ink, because I, I put everything in black ink because I use colored pens and little stencils and I have stickers and washi tape. I use that as my color. Right? I feel like I'm trying to justify. Right? And I realized something for this next year. Because of the way my bullet journals are set up, every three months I have a five week spread or a five week weeklies um for a month. April is one of those months. And I decided that I was gonna do a quarterly check in on those months um april has four weeks but it's part of the first week ends up or part of the last week ends up in no april has five weeks it's part of march and may that end up in april is th what that what that thought process was there for a whole ass fucking minute um Right, because I'm gonna do an over like so. January ends up with five weeks because it's the first week or the first month, so it won't it won't have any of 2024 in it. I decided that I can't do that to myself. Like the 2024 and the December of 2025 will have the first couple days of January in them, so that way when I'm like looking at the month and planning and stuff because like usually by the last week of uh December I'm planning January right I'm usually like full on out there with January with getting appointments and dates and stuff in so it'll be easier if like why I'm on the phone like you know the third week of December, right before Christmas, and I get told that I'm going to have an appointment the first week of January, I can just write it down in that journal in, like, under notes or important dates or something, right? It's not the end of the world to scramble and find a, this 
journal or a piece of paper and god forbid i lose that piece of paper and you know all the things that come with like trying to make your own planner because that's essentially what a bullet journal is for me is planning um Right, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and I'm outlining uh, the pages that are going to be weekly. I'm not filling them in. Um, I fill them in as the month is about to happen. So, like, this is April. So, the last week of March next year, I will fill in April. Um, probably middle of March. Let's be honest here. Um, maybe even the beginning of March, depending on, like, how bored I get and stuff. Because this isn't, this isn't like, I, I do this while I watch YouTube. I don't do this while I watch a TV show because, um, my TV shows are me time. 100%, like, I grab snacks, a blanket, curl up, and watch shows. Also, my dyslexia has gotten worse because I've stopped reading. Um, which is a true thing, by the way. Your dyslexia can and will get better depending on how much you read but the problem is is if you're already having dyslexic problems and you go to read it makes it frustrating and you get headaches pretty easily and i the thing is is my dyslexia got worse why i was still reading right and my headaches started to get worse because of it and i just couldn't do that to myself anymore So I uh, basically just gone to Audible. I'm really listening to everything on there because I don't have money for books. And what's the point of checking something out at the library if I can't actually read it? And I don't like the audiobooks from the library are not it. And honest to God, why does Libby have such long holds on certain books? Because, uh... There's no reason for it. I, I Somebody explained that to me like I'm five. Because it's a digital copy. A digital copy, right? I get that you're basically renting it. So it was like a blockbuster situation, I guess, is like the way it was explained to me. But that makes no sense to me because it's digital. It's not a physical copy. So, like, why is there a limit on how many phys like digital copies? Like, I don't understand. Sorry, I'm having issues. Wait. One, two, three, four. This is my fifth week. And then this is my quarterly review. So what I'll do is I'll put like a header at the top so that I know. Right. Again, I'm not waiting like 60 bazillion years for an audiobook on Libby. I can't. Like I do not have it in me. And the thing is, is, is you could like, what was it? You were supposed to be able to add as many libraries as you want on there for how many library cards you have here's the thing i have two i have two for two different counties in new york right and then i found my library information from when i was in high school for when i lived in washington state still right so i went to go add that one i got told that that information was so old i would have to go to the physically i got told i had to contact the library right to see about updating my information i was like sure that's a 20 minute phone call tops. I have to physically go in to update my information. I have to physically give them ID and stuff because I was in high school. So now they need like an adult ID. They need like an actual state or driver's license. In New York, that is not worth my, I'm shaking. I'm shaking the entire table. That was an issue when I was in high school too. Which is part of the reason why I bought, like, an actual camera and then broke that actual camera. Didn't mean to actually break it, but, you know. And I have little tiny pieces of paper that tell me what month is what. Because that way, when I go like this, and I go... Like, 
I know where I left off and I'm not having to count months and mess up because I almost did March twice. Which wouldn't been the end of the world. It just means that April would have started sooner than it was supposed to and I would have gotten my junk journal pages. And also, does anybody know what to do with these when you're like planning out a journal? Because I get it. Most people don't plan out journals the way I do. So they usually just sit there or they'll sit like where I'm, like one of them will, I could just move both of them here, right? Because here's the thing, it, one of them, usually the colored one, will sit where the month is and then the gray one will be back where like my monthly and yearly and like my my other pages are. Like um, my goal pages, my budgeting pages, my uh, brainstorming pages, um trying to think of what other pages end up at there uh tbr tbw um stuff like that ends up in the back so that's kind of how this one's set up but um i'm doing this one for a full year maybe huh. how many pages are in this 156 do a full year in this I think I'm what I'm like I'm not halfway through the year quite yet I think 100 pages will get me to to a full year I don't know when I do June I'll see how much I have left and I'll start like thinking about like what actual spreads I want in my journal this next year because half of the spreads I have in my journal I'm not using I'm not using any of the habit trackers I'm not using any of the mood trackers. I'm not using, I'm using the budgeting. The budgeting I use regardless of whether I want to or not. Um, because I have, I have no choice because I live paycheck to paycheck and I have to be able to count basically every penny. Maybe I'll do that as a video. Anyways, I'm going to go post this as is. It's going to be raw and unedited. Peace.